The chassis of Chevrolet's 2019 Silverado 1500 pickup truck is trimmed down as much as 450 pounds, and a range of six engine transmission choices includes an all-new Duramax 3.0L inline-6 diesel. High performance materials allowed engineers to extend the lighter truck's wheelbase 3.9 inches, and passenger and cargo volume. GM has put a lot of work into 2019 Silverado's cargo bed by widening the bed floor nearly 7 inches to claim the most cargo volume in every bed length. The short box has 63 cubic feet of volume, up to 20% more than a competitor's short box. Chevrolet accessories will offer storage bins that fit over the wheel wells offering nearly 7 cubic feet of lockable cargo space for short box models, while easily accommodating a 4x8 sheet of plywood flat on the cargo floor. Using higher grade steel for the roll formed bed floor to improve its yield strength more than 30%. Adding fixed high downs for a total of 12, and doubling their strength to resist 500 pounds of force before bending. 9 movable tie points expand cargo flexibility, including more features, such as a class-exclusive power-up down tailgate that can be operated from the key fob, interior button or by hand. Task lighting. A 120-volt power outlet and larger cutouts in the corner step bumpers to better accommodate steel-toed boots. The body is 88 pounds lighter than before due to mixed materials use. All exterior swing panels, as doors, hood and tailgate, are made of aluminum while fixed panels, as fenders, roof and bed, are made of steel. The underlying safety cage uses seven different grades of steel, each tailored for the specific application. The box steel frame is also 88 pounds lighter than its predecessor, and has 10% more torsional rigidity. The front independent short long arm suspension features new forged aluminum upper control arms that are lighter and provide better wheel alignment than the stamp component they replace. The live axle rear suspension is also redesigned, including new composite second stage springs on LT models that save about 12 pounds per side over the steel springs they replace. The 2019 Silverado will be available with six engine transmission combinations, including the new 5.3L and 6.2L V8S with industry-first dynamic fuel management that actively shuts off any number of cylinders, in a variety of combinations, to optimize fuel economy. Silverado will also be available with an all-new Duramax 3.0L inline-6 turbo diesel. Both the 3.0L diesel and 6.2L engines are paired with a new Hydromatic 10-speed automatic transmission as well as start-stop technology to improve fuel economy for optimum performance and efficiency. The cab is stretched, with crew cab models now offering 3 inches of additional rear seat legroom for a total of 44.5 inches of front legroom and 43.8 inches of rear legroom. Remember Honda's utterly adorable urban EV concept? The Nia Retro EV bowed in Frankfurt last year, and while Honda telegraphed that it would eventually produce the car, on Tuesday, it announced at the Geneva Motor Show that order books will open in 2019. At the Japanese automaker's press conference, Honda revealed it will start taking orders in Europe beginning in early 2019, with products soon to follow. Philip Ross Senior Vice President, Honda Motor Europe said, a production version of this highly acclaimed concept will be introduced to Europe during late 2019 ages. Exterior-wise, Honda should be able to build something similar to the concept, albeit with some production-friendly changes. Say goodbye to those ultra-slim roof pillars, as they're not crash-test-friendly. Big adieu to those side-view cameras, and more than likely, those pedestrian-facing message screens too. Neither the cameras or the screens may be legal in all markets yet. Inside, it's fair to assume that while the Urban EV will still have a large screen, it won't quite be of the sexy but expensive full-width variety. 
I'd also expect the street car to lose the concept's low-cup bench seat in favor of more traditional buckets up front, and all seats will have to get appropriately sized headrests for safety reasons. As long as all this is done in a fashion that's sensitive to the original design's simplistic brilliance, there's no reason to think that the production car won't be a sensation. If you're wondering why Honda hasn't already committed to bring this car to the US and Canada, it's not out of the question, but at least two major factors are against it, size and price. Size, because it's tiny, in show car form, the Urban EV is 3.9 inches shorter than today's Fit Hatchback, its current smallest offering in our market. North American buyers just don't snap up many cars that are scaled like this anymore. Conversely, thanks to their tighter streets, tougher parking and higher running costs, European and Japanese buyers still do. Price is also a major concern, because even though Honda hasn't detailed the production model's performance or range, building an electric car of this size will certainly be costlier than its gas equivalent, if only because batteries are still so expensive. A Honda of America spokesperson would only say, we cannot comment on future product. Having said all of that, given a strong enough response, anything is possible. Battery costs seem to be dropping by the day, and a car this novel and high profile could well give Honda cause to reconsider its viability in America. Daimler has several electric truck programs in the works and today it revealed the latest progress on the Electro's heavy-duty electric trucks. During the event, an executive compared the vehicle to the Tesla Semi and cast doubts about Tesla delivering on its promises. The German truck manufacturer already unveiled the FUS OE Canner program, a small electric truck meant for urban routes with a range of only 100 km. 62 miles, and a load capacity up to 3.5 tons, and a bigger all-electric e-truck, which has a 26-ton capacity, a massive 212 kWh battery pack, and 125 miles of range. They are now using a similar powertrain as the one in the bigger truck concept for the new Electro's electric truck. Today, they announced that they deliver the first 10 trucks to customers for operational testing until the planned production in 2021. Now, the truck doesn't compare favorably to Tesla's electric semi-truck prototypes, which the company claims can travel up to 500 miles with a 80,000-pound full capacity. At the launch event for the Electro's test fleet today, Daimler's head of trucks, Martin Dom told reporters that he has doubts about Tesla achieving those specs. He said, if Tesla really delivers on this promise, we'll obviously buy two trucks, one to take apart and one to test because if that happens, something has passed us by. But for now, the same laws of physics apply in Germany and in California. Tesla has also been testing its electric semi-prototypes with customers and last year, a Tesla semi-test program partner said that performance specs are for real, though they couldn't confirm all of them. The California automaker says the Tesla semi will go into production as soon as next year. The 2019 GMC Sierra pickup aims to wow customers with unique styling, the world's first carbon fiber pickup box and a tailgate with more tricks than a Swiss Army knife. Those innovations stem from General Motors' plan to make GMC the world's leading premium truck brand. It's an ambitious strategy that could unlock huge profits, and represents a direct challenge to Ford's crown jewel, the F-150 pickup. GM revealed the redesigned Sierra on Thursday on the heels of unveiling the overhauled version of its sister truck, the Chevrolet Silverado, in January. GMC and Buick boss Duncan Aldred said in almost reverent tones as he walked around the new Sierra, we've been building toward this launch for four or five years. We're still exploring how premium the brand can become. GMC is ideally positioned to cash in on the public's desire for ever more advanced and luxurious trucks. The brand sells nothing but pickups and SUVs. 
Its vehicles develop an identity for being just a little, or in some cases a lot, better than GM's mass-market Chevrolet truck line through years of careful, consistent brand management, even when the differences between a Chevy and GMC were mostly cosmetic. Autotrader senior analyst Michelle Krebs said, GMC has been leaving money on the table for years. This is an opportunity to take on Ford at the upper end of the pickup market. The Ford F-150 pretty much owns that today. The 2019 Sierra is the first GMC pickup with unique styling in decades, and it offers a raft of innovative and upscale features that not even the number one selling F-150 can match. GMC will announce 2019 Sierra prices later, but it'll be no surprise if the top Denali model approaches $70,000 when optioned up with features including the carbon fiber box, multi-pro tailgate, head-up display and high-definition video rearview mirror. The carbon fiber cargo box is revolutionary, applying a material usually seen in race cars and aircraft to a pickup's defining component, the box that hauls everything from mulch to motorcycles. It's stronger and lighter than the Chevy Silverado and Ram 1500 steel boxes. The first use of carbon fiber on the pickup, it's also a G-Wiz feature Ford touted aluminum F-150 can't match. In addition to bragging rights, the box has functional benefits. The thin, strong carbon fiber is 64 pounds lighter and stronger than the Sierra's standard steel box. It did so well in durability tests that GM re-engineered the Sierra's standard steel box based on things it learned working with carbon fiber. Eldred said, it's the strongest, toughest box ever in a pickup. It's all about toughness and technology. The carbon fiber box will be an option on the Sierra's top Denali model. The new tailgate has six different functions, including a full-width step to climb into the bed, a pop-up cargo stop to keep long loads from sliding out when the tailgate is open, a shelf to create a two-level cargo space and a panel that drops down to make it easier to reach into the bed when the tailgate is open. The multi-pro tailgate will be standard on the SLT and Denali models that account for 90% of Denali sales and available on other models. The cab is bigger than the old Sierra with more head and leg room. The controls feature big dials and buttons intended for easy use wearing gloves or driving through a bumpy worksite. The trim includes open pour wood and real aluminum. The rear seats of crew cab models have a pair of storage bins hidden in the back cushions, each big enough to hold a laptop. Every piece of exterior sheet metal is unique to the Sierra, a far cry from the days when a badge was the only exterior difference between a Chevy and GMC pickup. The high hood, bold grille and Denali's chrome skid plates create a powerful face. Reveal lines on the doors and fenders are consistent with swept back corners that house LED headlights and C-shaped running lights. The Denali also has a chrome strip around its windows, a unique feature among pickups. Joe Filippi of Auto Trends Consulting said, they've got to make it absolutely distinctive. A good-looking, unique exterior and new interior features are a good way to attack the luxury market. There's plenty of opportunity there. The 2019 Sierra 1500 should go on sale in the fourth quarter of this year.